The simplest and most common type of damage to the energy field that there is, and that is widely described in culture, is energetic damage that people usually call jinx or evil eye. It usually affects the etheric body, and partially the astral body. More accurately, the astral body gives permission for a certain problem to penetrate the level of the etheric body. The breach of the energy field results in a serious outburst of energy that extends from one person to the other. As a rule, it is always directed and also, as a rule, appears on the grounds of negative emotion, hatred or, for example, envy. It is always a highly concentrated emotion that is directed towards a particular recipient, wherein this particular addressee, the recipient of this problem, must, within this moment, remain in a certain state of consciousness to allow such damage to happen. Because, after all, a healthy psyche in one way or another controls the etheric body, and the density of the etheric body with a healthy psyche won't let such breach occur in the first place. For example, it would be very difficult to jinx a cop. You can certainly try it, but it would be extremely difficult to do, since his consciousness is ultimately impenetrable to almost anything. But how easy is it to jinx a child? How easy is it to jinx a pregnant woman or a sick person? Why is that? Because the astral body of the first, the second and the third is prone to a certain influence. It is open and vulnerable. A child's heart is wide open. He is ready to non-critically embrace the whole world. A pregnant woman is in a high stress state, especially in terms of elevated background type stress due to her condition. Sick people, their whole consciousness system, as a rule, is also focused exclusively on their own illness. And therefore, there is no energy left for their emotional and mental bodies. This is why such vulnerable groups exist. Thus the jinx is similar to a virus that would cause a runny nose. Actually, in our tradition it is considered similar to a snuffle. It disappears after seven days on its own, unless you purposely nourish it. How can you purposely nourish it? It is when a consciousness, the actual person himself, remains surrounded by a certain aggressive environment, in an atmosphere of constant constant anger, constant envy. For example, at work, among your colleagues, where all ladies desperately hate each other without any particular reason, where this sort of environment is constant. Like when one hates the other more, then a third one gets involved, then the fourth one, and so on. Where else could you be at risk? A place of a largely dense gathering of people, especially a dense gathering of aggressively minded people. The a jinx could be easily caught somewhere in a subway, where people who take it, we can't say that they're particularly happy with their life. It can be caught during an event with elevated emotional environment and an elevated atmosphere of aggression. But again, just like with the virus, anyone can get it, but it won't manifest in everyone. So such is also true with a jinx or an evil eye. We become prone to jinxes when we communicate with 50 people a day. But in order for it to reach our physical body, in order for it to actually manifest, you need to either have a very serious breach or be subjected to a constant, systematic influence. Or have a weakened energy field. How does it manifest? On the most simple level, it is manifested by a sudden change in mood. It was good and then suddenly, as if someone flipped the switch, as if the sun got covered by clouds, and your mood was ruined. A quick malaise that in general also goes away very fast. It is enough to take a shower, take a high dose of vitamin C, drink a cup of hot sweet tea, and you feel like things are getting better. Also, it may manifest as apathy. In this case, it is quite a prolonged moment, when subconsciousness can't overcome this problem on its own. 
Suddenly, some type of non-really depression, but rather melancholy, appears when everything that brought you joy before stopped doing so. When something was of interest to you five minutes ago suddenly stops being interesting. In order to determine the source of a jinx, you just need to remember the moment when this problem appeared. Because usually the damage appears suddenly and can be felt right away. It is not a result of a prolonged action, which we will see, for example, when studying the damage on the informational levels of consciousness. There it occurs with some delay, but here it occurs almost immediately. And to recognize it in general is not that difficult, I repeat. It is always a personal contact and always directed at you. It is you either must be present with a person in one energy field and make eye contact at minimum, or by talking to someone. That is why sometimes it is possible to get jinxed over the phone, but it is always some type of personal contact. Therefore, since such contact is always individual and strictly directed, it can be easily traced back, very easily. What should you do next? Draw conclusions, of course. Determine, not just realize, that a person has somewhat unfriendly feelings towards you, so to say towards you and your life. Because he may not be expressing it formally. For example, you talk to your mother-in-law and then went down with the temperature, meaning that she sort of talks nice with you. But then you get this outcome and this outcome keeps repeating. Talk to your teammate, your girlfriend and suddenly got the same effect that is very similar to the symptoms of a jinx and so on. Meaning that recognizing it isn't that difficult. But it is very important to understand the reason, and the reason always lies within a person. Perhaps you yourself provided a reason. What reason could it be? As a rule, it is always envy. This means that it should firstly be determined what they are envious about and at least try arranging your life in such a way as not to demonstrate it to everyone. Nowadays, unfortunately, it is very popular to showcase your personal life on Instagram, post your private stories on Facebook and then you get surprised about the number of incoming ailments. And although showcasing your life became a widespread trend, the issue of jinxes and damages to the energy field didn't go away. They remain the same as they always have been. Therefore, here you simply need to change your behavior. Generally, I always recommend to my students to reveal as little as possible about themselves in order to avoid that. Information about you is your personal experience. It is your personal history. Ask yourself a question. Is everyone deserving to receive your personal experience for free? Does everyone deserve to have access to your personal history? Review your own behavior in regards to your surrounding environment, in regards to people close to you and those who are not, as an unlimited group of users from social media, as well as a limited group of users on behalf of your friends, especially if you know that such things as an evil eye and its symptoms is a very common phenomenon. A jinx always appears on the grounds, on the premise of hate, I repeat. It won't penetrate the consciousness that understands, firstly, which environment it found itself in, and secondly, that doesn't open itself up. When two people in love go up an escalator in a subway, passionately kissing each other, one of them will definitely get jinx, and most likely it will be the woman, because the woman in this case is more vulnerable. It is clear that young people don't see the surrounding environment as aggressive. And although their mothers and grandmothers and all other older relatives sometimes warn them of such behavior, young people listen to no one. But the misfortunes may happen, and problems may appear, monetary losses easily, inflammation of reproductive organs in women, easily, 
Seems like there are obvious reasons for that. But carelessness is carelessness. And it became the reason for the defense, even at least some kind of defense, between you and the surrounding world to fall. Because the whole wide world is wonderful. It can't be populated with angry, envious people while I am so happy. This is how a young consciousness thinks and also gets punished for such a mindset in full. That is why, remember, if it happened that you opened yourself up and received a breach, it is not so terrible. You simply need to recognize it in a timely manner and immediately take measures. Meaning that you will need to work out your etheric body. This would usually immediately allow you to squeeze out all negative vibrations from your consciousness and from the etheric body itself. Take a hot shower, or even better, take a contrast shower. Drink something that contains vitamin C, or just vitamin C on its own. Just cheer yourself up, perk up your consciousness, improve your immune system, and then this problem won't reach your physical body. And of course, think about the reasons why you opened yourself up before the surrounding environment. What in the world made you think that people around you are cute and cuddly beautiful creatures? Why would this notion enter your head in the first place? Maybe you watched way too many kittens in your Facebook feed early in the morning? Then stop doing that, at least for some time, and take a look around at the surrounding reality, not through pink glasses, but through a normal universal contrast.